And we come back to Dark and Ran in Mass Effect 3. Mm. Last time it was painful, like half this game is going to be. Yep. Casualties abound. But we're still mm -hmm. not done with the Chunka. So let's check and see what's going down over in a diff different region. With Cerberus still up to no good. So the usual. Seriously. <laughs> we could bring Rex for this. That'd be kind of harmonious thing. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't brought DD in a while. And she used to get speed fire. <laughs> no, because she can't use assault rifles. Okay. As, the, as I am fond of saying, sniper rifles, close quarters weapons for when you pick the wrong gun. Yeah, I don't really get that saying. Because... Snipers are never the wrong gun. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. If you're using a sniper rifle in close quarters, uh, your complaint will not be you grabbed the wrong gun. It's going to be, oh... It's like, oh, br oh, brother, trying to wash all these brains out of your uniform is going to be a problem. Right? Don't you just love holographic interfaces? They don't block, uh, weapons fire. Yeah. Oh, well, like, I mean, yeah, it would be difficult to aim through the scope with a sniper at the same time. If you're close enough, you don't need to aim through the scope. Exactly. I like that. Call for reinforcement. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing I, I can pick up. Yes. Old grid schematics. Hmm. Oh my! Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. Indeed. They cut power to the console. We need to get the power back on. Guess they had reinforcements. So they did. Ooh, loot. Ooh, armor I'm never gonna wear. Yay! To the book of the suit goes. Pretty much. Eh. Oh, hello there. <laughs> you picked the wrong ladder to go down, buddy. That was unfortunate for you. I keep Bing. I keep trying to use middle click as a power button when it's melee. So that's what it is. Oh, hey, your money. Oh, hey, sniper. I hate snipers. Ding. Listen, I'm counter sniping. 
I'm using a sniper rifle so it counts. Yeah. Did you actually make this other one? Mm, yeah, but I didn't do enough damage to break the shield. Otherwise, you just, you otherwise, know, he, otherwise, otherwise, he would have froze right away. Yeah, just that you know the health bar disappeared, so it couldn't really. You know, dead. Oh, hello there. You don't say you've got wounded. Now, where are you, bastard? I think I brought the power back online. Nope. I'm missing something else. Yeah, there's probably multiple of those. Yeah, probably. No in game logic, probably three in total. Rule three. All good things come in three. Oh no, I just walk right past one of them is all. I think I'm never really gonna get over the line. The, the, main back now. the line they used for in dungeons for that one. Dungeons 2 or I think it was Dungeons 3, was it? Yeah. You know You know when the hero lady had to reactivate various uh, ritual stuff and she did three first and narrator was like yeah now you have to do the fourth one but you said all good things going three yes all good things fucking out melee phoenix yes that was a phoenix operative i just out meleeed a dragoon <laughs> admittedly he was almost dead i mean i could charge him if you like Uh, no, I hit him, but he survived. And he has didn't friends. Hit him the second time, so it still counts. I like how he. I like. I kind of like how he's doing that little stagger step that players do. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they they just took the iPhone my player. It's just doing the movement. Oh my gosh! Why is my mouse being dumb? <laughs> Okay, okay. Hold still, you bugger. Jeez. It's like it's like it's like it's like they scripted it to just be like a player. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all of them. Hey, only twenty more melee kills to go. Did I really just change weapons again? I did. Let me. There we go. That was strangely finicky. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. Dead and burned. Nice. All right. Good work, everyone. Simple enough. Yeah. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems like. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. And yeah, that's another one in the multiplayer maps. Mm. Man, trying to walk through this room must be awkward as fuck with them staring off at each other. Right. Oh, no new mail. Okay.
Wow, that's impressive. Say that again. When do we get playable hangers? I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Not fun. Yeah. Monitored Vib Vlog. Conspiracy of the day. <coughs> Come on, people. I've recently pointed out some astonishing secrecy on the part of the Alliance that probably involves Reaper secrets. Where is the outrage? For today's blog, due to new evidence regarding Task Force Aurora, I am resurrecting an entry from many years ago. Read and learn. Conspiracy of the day. The Leviathan of Dis. In 2163, Batarians discovered an enormous starship that had crashed on the planet Jatar. Soon after that, said starship mysteriously disappeared. Or perhaps it's not so mysterious when you consider a Batarian dreadnought visited the area right before the crash ship disappeared. Soon after, the Batarians denied that the starship had ever existed. What? How freaking gullible do they think we are? There are at least two reasons why that denial is a lie suspicious. Batarians are liars and assholes. My opinion only based on personal experience on Omega's documented uh, in my t April 28, 28, 2139 blog entry. The Solarians have vid footage of it. Now, I do not have access to, nor have I ever seen, that vid footage. <laughs> However, come on, I'll take the word of Solarian scientists over Batarian government any day. <clears throat> New evidence! I, your tireless, highly educated and dedicated sleuth ship disturber, have uncovered a receipt from a coffee shop here on the Citadel with the following notation. Brian Garneau, Leviathan Discussion, Planning and Supply List. So clearly Task Force Aurora is discussing the Leviathan Abyss. Let me repeat that. Task Force of Aurora is studying the Leviathan Abyss. In all my years, I've never heard of anything this big. The galaxy needs to know. Spread the word and demand answers from Hackett and the Alliance. Some Bryson, wasn't, that, wasn't Bryson the name of the guy working with Cerberus? No. You're thinking of... You, mm. you talk about the Project Overlord? No, I was thinking of the... Uh, the data pad we found from uh, from the web team or whatever we have. No, no, that's someone down. else. That's a politician. Bryson is a scientist okay. on the Citadel, and we're actually going to go visit him when we're ready to, once we start a DLC. Okay, so I just got the names mixed up. Coincidentally okay. named Leviathan. Oh, that's why. Right. So, that's so th th this guy's actually r more or less right, but he's still a fucking conspiracy nut. <laughs> well, he's right, but he's also not. Yeah, over, uh, over, uh, oh, Pepe Silvio over there. <coughs> anyway, intercepted <laughs> audio from Fumi District. That uh, this is hmm. Omega. Talons. Security reminder. Let's keep things tight. We haven't had anyone turn turn in a while. Let's make sure it doesn't happen now. Cerberus. Civilian dissenters track to Fumi District. Deploy troopers and new mech units to eliminate. Hunt ringleaders for processing. Kandros. Did you see that encrypted message flash, flash by on the Cerberus public feed? The news isn't good. Cerberus is planning to, cr to crack down on some civilians in Fumi District. Cerberus engineers in Fumi District are repairing an electrical conduit. Please cooperate if escorted to safety. Get in touch with extraction teams. We have to get over there now. If the civilians are too rowdy, Cerberus will go live ammunition. No go. Our extraction teams are already working in the detainment centers in the lower levels. We're locked down on resources right now. Won't do. Heading to scout area. Send an extraction team as soon as they bug out. I'll guide civilians out of trouble myself if need be. That place is crawling with Cerberus. Civs found. Contact established. Heading for tunnel entry point FD-09. Unauthorized activity in Fumi District. Suspected Talon presence. Eliminate all Talon members on site. Bounties available. <clears throat> Cerberus presence spiked. Civilians laying low. When the extraction team is clear, send them to prearranged locations. Notorious cr criminal Nirene Kandros, leader of the Talon criminal gang, sighted in Fumi District. Remain calm. Security forces en route. 
I've been spotted by service forces. Looks like I'm the decoy. Boss, extraction team, B2 just reported in. Their civs are stashed away safely. They're heading back out and toward you now. Belay that. Send them straight to Fumi District stat. I'm drawing service forces away from civilians there. Locking down Fumi District due to persistent Talon activity. For full purge authorized. Get every Talon. Petrovsky's orders. Crap. Well, shit. You could say it's not going according to plan on Omega. Yeah. Nothing to see here. But wasn't the mistress of Omega, you know, actually going to do something now that she's got all the main gangs together? Uh, the ga having the getting the gangs together actually had nothing to do with it. Oh. That's that was uh, the Omega. Uh, Omega is a DLC. Mm. Yeah. The getting the three gangs together was part of the base game. Yeah. Still kind of silly, though. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. <laughs> Wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that Cerberus cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Sometimes I worry about you, man. <laughs> Sometimes I worry about you, man. I appreciate you checking in on me. Yeah, same. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate that in Mass Effect, uh, ships have audio emulators for when they're out in space. Because otherwise yeah. it'd be a little jarring seeing everything happen quietly. Makes sense. Too bad about Tarquin. So, so that sounds life. like quite the... Uh, complicated software to develop. Yeah, don't worry about it. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Yeah, it's just you, James. I'd be nervous <laughs> if the guards on the ship were just, my ship were just randomly raising their weapons and pointing them around. Yeah, that's uh, not very safe. Nope. I mean, they might have the uh, Listen, safety. Listen, safety don't mean nothing. Safety is like any other machine. It'll break. And it'll fail. Yeah. Fair enough. It seems you believe Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You'd think she'd never seen a Prothean before. <laughs> Is that sarcasm? Commander. Think. Can't be too, too sure with him. Gabby, yeah, I mean, he said, well, he's the last one. She puts up with him day after day. Yep. Breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament here dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. That's old news. Arcturus was destroyed at the uh, start of the game. Yeah. Sometimes those triggers of wi in which order to show some of those dialogues can be a bit weird. Alright, so now we just make a quick run to Volus space. If I remember where that is. Help some Turian troopers, and then make some deliveries at the Citadel. Yeah. 8th on cluster. That was at like 100% a second ago, so that's clearly it. Sounds about right. Very few areas here have survived intact.
Kinda running out of. Yeah, it'll just force us to go back to the mass relay system. Oh, okay. Signal confirmed. And ahoy! Fuel. Ahoy! I am not Apollo, yes. I didn't even catch it. Ahoy! Okay then. I might watch a bit too much for a life. <laughs> Polish Dreadnought Kunu. Oh, my. And I mean, you can quote Watame rather well. You could say so. Watame did nothing wrong. I don't know why the Kunai and eh? No, that was easy. VDF support specialists. Nice. That's 33% of the assets around here. Oh my. Might as well finish scanning. Refuel. Oh, hey, more fuel. That was easy. Yep. Volus engineering team. That's not useful. We still have more assets to find. Oh, in the actual mass relay one. And probably on the on Mura one. I don't know. We might as well check. Made it. Signal confirmed. It certainly doesn't seem. Doesn't seem like we'll be coming back here anytime soon, probably, so we might as well clean it up. Mm -hmm. Twenty sixth Amagar Legion, whatever the fuck that is. Either way, useful. Yeah, every little bit. Hey, hey more fuel. You can always use more fuel. We just finished scanning the main sector. What should be on E-Room? Nope. Mild disappointment. There was another planet on the left side, I think. I'm just looping. Oh, fair enough. Oh, there's something. Fuel Depot. But just... Of course it was just here. <laughs> oh, well. It's not a problem anymore. Oh, what's this? Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe. Uh oh. Oh, many issues. Oh. Ghosts of Antolin. Remember Antolin being uh, mm -hmm. the ghost ship. Yep. So we finally have enough information to a check on that. Apparent. Apparently, they're one putting out the distress call. And uh, where's the thing Garrus mentioned? Did I already get them? Maybe assignments. No, I already did, did that. I have no fucking idea. Oh well. Off to Citadel Space. No clue. Yep. We got shit to do. Indeed. What's over here? Oh, we can do Protein Sites again. Ooh. But which one? What do you think? Got the crescent. Uh, the one right in the middle of Reaper territory. What, this one? Yeah. What could go wrong? Why not? We're gonna have to do all of them eventually.
Oh, Theorem! Man, that's a ways back. I don't actually remember. This is the plant this is the planet we found Liara on. Oh yeah. Yeah, that would be a protein site alright. Yeah. There are minerals. Thanks to investigate. Free fuel! Yay! We got anything in Intel now? Because we keep getting this. I, we've got like two or three. Avatar intels, but we don't actually know what it is. Hmm. Maybe it would be something once we get, like, all of them. Yeah, maybe. In case you're curious... Hmm? In case you're curious why that crewman had an interaction thing on him, it's just, if you interact real quick, he'll salute you. Oh. He doesn't have any dialogue. Yeah. Uh, you know, finding the avatar thing seems to lower the penalties of, of whatever cybernetic implants we find from that, so, you know, probably yeah. useful. Planet SN064. Hmm. Curious. Betty. SN064 is brand new to science. It does not appear on Citadel star charts and its atmospheric composition is unknown. It appears to be a rogue gas giant surrounded by asteroids, moons, and space debris collected while traveling through the cosmos. Scans reveal no detectable artificial satellites, but radiation consistent with element zero fusion drives has been detected in the atmosphere of the gas giant. It is likely they have discharged their drive core as they pass by the planet. Mm. No confirmed. That's kind of interesting. S21860463. It's an ejected. Nothing here worth noting and no sign of the distress call. Another asteroid. Still no sign of a distress call. Mm. Fragments of a ship have been detected nearby. So it must be getting close. MSV Netyapar. That sounds a little more like a ship name. Cortez swings the shuttle around and holds her steady beside a gaping wound in the wreckage. After double checking with the Normandy's advanced scanning equipment, he gives the green light for the shuttle doors to open. You take a moment before stepping off and slowly float into the ship's interior. Once inside, the full extent of the damage is made clear. Mass accelerator rounds have ripped through the hull, there is slag and spinning debris, and an exit wound that peels out into the void. There are traces of small arm fire in the interior walls, and all the atmosphere is blood away. Radiation from a damaged fusion reactor can be detected. You magnetically lock your boots to the floor and begin to tr investigate the wreckage. A warning flashes up your Omni tool alerting you to the presence of electrical power. <clears throat> Using the built-in Omni scanner, you follow the embedded power lines in the floor to a door. After bypassing the, the lock, the door lazily slides open. Motes of dust and frozen globules of blood glimmer and wink as they catch the light on your armor. You immediately notice extensive evidence of combat. Bullet holes in the walls, a Solarian corpse and damaged EVA armor, and two, cor two doors, which are clearly signposted. One leads to the cockpit, and the other to the server core. Which door? Hmm. Server core sounds important. As the doors slide open, you feel a tortured shudder run through the ship, and then a sudden sense of disorientation. The wall to your left is broken away from the ship, leaving only a window to the infinite void. 
the ruin of the MSV Netsia Power is more fragile than you had anticipated. Somehow the structure of the room has survived, and even though the electrical power lines continue to function, the floor looks precarious. On the far side, you can see the servers. Only one appears to have survived, and it remains active. A red light sluggishly winks at you. After deactivating the magnetic lock on your boots, you float across the walkway until you reach the server on the other side. The holographic interface is damaged, so you reroute it through your Omni tool. Most of the information on the ship has been scrubbed, except for a digital black box VI locked deep inside, which details the final journey of the MSV Netia Par. <clears throat> According to the VI, the ship started its journey from a space station in the Ancelin system. The station's name is Classified. <clears throat> the first destination was the Anno Space and Mass Relay before traveling through Serpent Nebula. Immediately after exiting the Citadel Relay, they were attacked by an unidentified, undetected vessel. The ship's, uh, ship evaded the aggressors using FTL, but was later cornered at the current position. The VI recounts the details of forced entry by intruders, presumed to be Solarian, judging by the images captured up on the internal security feed. The pilot returned fire, killing one attacker before launching an escape pod carrying a fellow passenger. After the pilot was shot, the intruders sabotaged the servers, scramble locked the cockpit door, and strafed the ship with mass accelerator fire. You send the intel to Normandy, where the gathered evidence will be passed on to Citadel Alliance Command. Hidden among the evidence is the location of the Antelin star system, which has been added to the galaxy map, and ha as has the trajectory data for the escape pod. Let's go to the cockpit. Yeah. <clears throat> the cockpit door is sealed from the outside by a scrambling device. You scan it with your Omni tool and transmit the information to Normandy. Within minutes, the Yara contacts you, informing you that the device is used by the armed forces based out of Manavai, a Solarian colony, and provides stolen access codes to bypass the system. The door slides open to you. The cockpit is bathed in the orange glow of an open console, clearly illuminating a pistol and several spent thermal clips on the floor. There is a man slumped forward in the pilot's chair. It is clear that he died of a bullet wound, almost certainly from self-defense. After searching the body with the Omni Scanner, you uncover the murdered individual's identification. It is, a, it is on digital pass programmed into his Omni tool. <clears throat> Dr. Jordan Ditwiela, MIT Extraterrestrial Studies Group, Batal Station. The doctor's name is familiar to you, but you cannot remember where from. After checking with Edie, it emerges that Dr. Ditwiler was involved in the virtual alien encounter a year ago, and is linked to the Antelin star system that he discovered on its terminal on Sarkesh. It is becoming painfully obvious that suspicious activity is happening in the Antelin system that involves the Solarians and potentially a species that were widely considered to be a hoax. You need to learn more and the, and the open console beckons to you. Well, I guess so. Well. There is a collection of messages addressed from Dr. Detweller to his daughter Kyra. It appears that only the first two were successfully sent to the recipient. First one. I know you don't understand my choice, but I need you to understand why I chose it. After the attack on the Citadel, people are seeing synthetic devils everywhere. They've gone from being an occasional <clears throat> nuisance to the boogeyman living under every bed, hiding in every terminal. It's moronic. These virtual aliens aren't synthetic. Not really. They once had flesh as we do, and their only way to survive was to digitize themselves. Faced with extinction or digitation, don't you think we might do the same? We can't allow them to be destroyed by our prejudicial, prejudicial culture. I've got to be here. Please understand that. <clears throat> And then, the next one. I'm sorry it's taken so long to reply, but I lose track of time when I'm in their world. There's always more to see, more to learn. My knowledge has expanded tenfold in as many weeks, and I've barely scratched the surface of their culture, history, and technology. Technology, culture, okay. I've quickly amassed an encyclopedia of historical and societal texts. When I can, I will let you read it. Ambassador Saigan has her new body, and we've spent a lot of time together. She's fascinating. Each day is a wonder, both socially and scientifically, but don't read too much into it. I've seen what they really look like. Our bond is far from romantic, I assure you, but I do admire her. I put in a request for clearance so you can visit me at the station. It's time you met Saigon in more poli polite terms. And if we're really lucky, she'll let you take a tour to of her world. I hope to hear from you soon. I miss you. Mm. And then the ones that didn't send... They lied. Integration in the Citadel space was promised in exchange for the Ark's advanced technology, and they've rescinded it. Project Mosino has been shut down, and now Dalatras controls the successor project. Those offered asylum have been encouraged to return to the Ark to help their people adjust to the transition from the digital world to the physical. 
I have no idea what's happening to them. Once they arrive, they disappear. Saigon fears for her people, and I can't say I blame her. I do too. I hope you're safe. We've heard what is happening, and what's happening, and we're all worried. Let me know you're safe. And then another one. I haven't much time. I've done something foolish by my reasons or the right ones. I'll always stand by my choice. They betrayed us. The yellow-bellied bastards are trying to enslave billions to defend themselves in the war. The virtual aliens fled the death of our homeworld, hoping for a brighter future, and are now finding only despair and subjugation. Salarians can be more savage than I ever expected. I can't stand by and let them finish the job, so I freed the ambassador from containment and sabotaged the facility. We tried to flee from to the Citadel, but our escape was cut short. The ship crippled and I'm wounded. I put Saigon in an escape pod. I don't know where she is now. Ho safe, hopefully. I don't care about the war or the damned reapers. Some acts are too heinous. They cannot be allowed to get away with it. Find Saigon and let the galaxy know what's happening. I'm sorry. The final message was left unsent. You saved the letters to your Omni tool as evidence and warned Normandy that a salvage crew will need to retrieve the body of Dr. Dick Weiler. There's still a server room to explore. Which we already did. Yep. So, return to Normandy. I guess they kind of expected us to go to the server room first. Yeah. And do that cockpit first. Right, so now we need that to... That was... That was very Salarian of them. Is that the word I would have chosen? Now we need to find that escape pod. It can't have gotten far. Oh. Indeed, it <laughs> didn't. After detecting weak life signs, Joker sw uh, swings the Normandy around so your salvage team can retrieve the escape pod. They store it in the cargo bay. When they crack it open, they discover an Asari clutching a data pad and a pistol. She appears to be suffering from severe dehydration and malnutrition. She's barely able to hold her own weight, let alone lift a weapon. The Asari drops the pistol as James carries her from the pod, and through cracked lips she speaks in a feeble voice. I'm... Saigon, ambassador of the... Yet yeah, the strain of her ordeal probes too more, much, and she loses consciousness as she's laid on the stretcher. The medical team rush her out of the cargo bay, but you notice her data pad has fallen and reach down to retrieve it. <clears throat> the data pad has a draft speech on the screen. It appears a, as if it was written to represent to the Citadel Council. <clears throat> Counselors, when our star was dying, my people were faced with a choice. Accept the inevitable and watch our world burn or cling to the fragile hope of rebirth. A billion of us chose the latter. We built an ark, stored our genetic, the genetic material of our world, and chose to abandon our flesh so that our souls would be preserved virtually. We sailed on cosmic winds for lifetimes, waiting for our overseer to find a new home. But we embraced our pleasant virtual lives, and, our, and reality was forgotten. The overseer never found us a home. We drifted across the void until fate bore us to you. We began to wake up to reality once again. Excitement rippled through us. But you feared us, then embraced us, and then forgot us. We were left in the hands of those who viewed it, we viewed as friends, but have proven to be anything but. Our Ark is grounded, my people imprisoned, threatened, and experimented upon. They... From the way it has been written, it is clear that the speech has been drafted and redrafted countless times, but you're frustrated to find it's incomplete. The evidence collected from the STG based on Shalkesh, the wreckage of the MSV Nechapa, and Ambassador Saigon's data pad paints a grisly picture of Salarian interference with virtual aliens. This evidence must be presented to the Council. Dump the pod. Yeah, I mean, well, there's something else, so yeah, I mean. Right. So, I think there was something else near there. No, never mind. No. Right. Well, let's take a visit to the Citadel. Yeah. We have words. That's a word for it. Oh my god, let me dock. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. I assume that's the right place to go. Probably. Um. Okay. No idea. Well, we can try it though. I mean, 
If nothing else, starting with the with the counselor is a good place to start. The council to save their lives and for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Commander, I expect you're curious about Lieutenant Commander Williams. Ashley said you offered her Spectre status. And the chief said this. It is true. The Council is in dire need of loyal agents. Williams is among the first of many. It's about time someone recognized Ashley's contribution. Yes, her service record speaks for itself. She's a survivor, a warrior, and most importantly, she is incorruptible. I will be keeping her close. Do not worry. The time, my schedule has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? Yeah, that's good. I should go. I'll be here. Yeah, we don't really need to speak with him. Okay, he is not the source of what to do with that. that. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe it's in the Spectre Terminal. Maybe. That would be a place for it. Yeah, you know how there used to be like a centralized place to speak with the council? We were we had a centralized place to speak to the council. Yeah, you know, in the first time. Evidential recap for the Antel investigation. After emergency consultation with the Council, I have been ordered to investigate who is responsible for the Antelin conspiracy. You were considered for this role, but the Council feared that a recent incident between humans and Salarians could undermine your authority and the case against the Dalatras. I've coordinated with the SDG to share our intel. Here's what we know so far. SDG counterintelligence monitored secret comms between the Dalatras and the facility in the Anos Basin. The Dalatras ordered the facility to commit an unexplained atrocity against the virtual aliens. Dr. Dietwalos was murdered on the MSV Nechepa. He was the leading expert on the virtual aliens. The Nechepa's journey started in the Anos Basin. The Antelin star system had been removed, has been removed from Citadel star charts. Tech used by the intruders on the ship was constructed on Manavai. Genetic sequencing of the Salarian corpse has a 79% chance of originating from the colony. Conspirators attempted to assassinate Ambassador Saigon, and her data pad reveals evidence of torture. Have no fear, Shepard. We'll uncover who is responsible and bring her to justice. But locating the virtual aliens is your prime responsibility. I suggest our evidence suggests they are in the Anos Basin, and we'll begin there. Interesting. So it's being so down. we're basically just communicating and like coordinating with other yeah. specters. <laughs> Meanwhile, that's kind of cool. VI drone oh, research. Yeah. The Geth assault on the Citadel played havoc with Synthetic Insight's reputation and profits. After years of poor publicity regarding synthetic research, the corporation is looking to return to being a name that is respected for their work. To this end, they have petitioned the council to allow them to mass-produce VI drones using the latest Omnitool technology. Their secret research would allow these holograms to interact with physical objects, and would be used as support or combat assets in the war. Due to the conflict, or perhaps their reputation, the petition has been lost. Spectre authorization would push this petition back onto the table. That sounds useful. So authorize it? Um, sure. <laughs> That's a whole lot more. Really, the League of One. Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember those. You, uh, collecting the League of One medallions was actually, was one of the collection side quests in the first game. Oh. Hmm. Palladium Star. <laughs> Lieutenant Tarquin Victus may not have been the most effective battlefield leader, but he sacrificed himself to spare millions of Krogan from certain death. This is an action beyond the Call of Duty and worthy the highest honors in Citadel space. 
yet the classified nature of his assignment has meant his efforts have been passed by without memorial. A recommendation for Lieutenant Victus to receive the Palladium Star would honor his memory. Is that even yeah, a question? absolutely. Husk Armament Research. Turian scientists are keen to understand the effects of husk weaponry to create new defenses against them. In defiance of their cultural taboo, they've expressed the need for hundreds of corpses in the hope that they may brute force new discoveries. These methods would be deemed unethical and illegal during peacetime, but authorizing the research could potentially save thousands of lives on the front line. Yeah, we are not in peacetime. <laughs> Desperate times? Yeah. Desperate times. Funny how we intended to finish the chunk of stuff, and now we've got dozens of more things. Like, ooh, shiny. Ooh, understand. And all right, we need to deliver that. And oh, more shiny. Pretty much. God, I'm gonna have to spend like 20 minutes reading through all these war asset updates. Right. Just because I'm so curious. Yeah. I would probably be enough camera though. Oh yeah, I'm just I'm just curious about it. I rescued those soldiers from Reaper territory. Excellent work. The Shadow Broker has authorized me to offer you a finder's fee for his guard's safety. And now that our business is concluded, I have to tend to some other engagements. Indeed. I recovered the Book of Plenty's. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. Okay, that's that one. Yep. What is this left? Comparatively, the deliveries are a lot faster than everything else. Yeah, seriously. I think this should be the last one for now. Probably. Maybe. Don't mean to interrupt you, but I found mm. these schematics. They're pretty old, but maybe they could help you? Like if you don't remember, her thing was, she uh, she's compl she's complaining to someone on her commune that they wanted a bigger light show for their, you know stuff in the club, but their power but their power grid couldn't support it, uh, right. and they and they couldn't draw power from the backups because it was against ordinance or something like that. So giving her the out massively old Krogan grid, but still a military grade grid that they can convert to. Yeah. Works. Mm -hmm. Slowly shortening that list. And then it just gets. And then, and then it just gets longer again. Oh, yeah, you know. Skip the trip. Hey, what happens if I hit this? Oh my. That's about then a few news. Yeah. Mm, most of it's not very good. Migrant fleet refuses council inspectors. The Quarians are up to no good. Mm. Diplomatic relations between the Quarians and Citadel Council have chilled after the migrant fleet refused to consider visitation by council weapons inspectors. The move comes several months after the migrant fleet allegedly acquired dual-use ship materials which could be used to create dreadnought scale weaponry. The allegations leveled by unnamed specters center around a battle over the Terminus world of Corliss. In a violent dispute, the migrant fleet fought Blue Sun's mercenaries, and when the fighting was done, took its fill of ship parts on or orbiting the planet. Corian representatives have so far been unapologetic. We have no embassy on the Citadel, and are no longer signatories of the Treaty of Phyrexen, Admiral Han-Garel Vasnima said. Our armaments are none of the Citadel's business, 
Further, these worries are unfounded. We have never had, nor do we plan to have, hostile intent on to set our species. Public reaction in council space is vehement. The migrant fleet has always lived on the edge of criminality, popular blogger Freo Deland said, but adding an axial gun to a live ship that who knows how many kilometers long? That's not cause for worry. That's terror worth soiling your pants over. Diana Allers is a war correspondent who is just saying who Diana is. You know, the twit on our ship who does all this. Yeah, so th yeah. She did this article. I mean, it is a worrying thing. Yeah, when you consider that the live ships are dreadnought sized. In yeah. Fact, in fact, possibly even bigger. I mean, like, that's a big spine. Bruh, what the fuck? Really? Okay. And. Yeah, yeah. Emily Wong. Oh. She's dead. Yeah. Actually, I think she's... I thought she was supposed to still be alive, actually. Like... Maybe the news thinks it's, she's dead. Yeah, as I said, pretty sure she mentions that she almost died in a van crash. Yeah, that was a previous news. Who knows? It's kind of weird that I remember that was one we read before. Yeah, that's, you know? that's awfully specific, Ran. We just I guess, you know, screen. seeing that one it just from the connection, you know? Yeah. Eh? Me? Who? Indeed. So that takes care of basically everything for now, other than, you know, chasing down those virtual aliens and then wrapping things up onto Chunka. Yep. Oh, we got new mail. Oh boy. From Primarch Victus. I write to you today not as a Primarch, but as a father. I've been advised that you're the one responsible for recommending Tarkin for the Palladium Star. The name of Victus is ancient, our origin stretching back to before the Unification Wars. Greatness has often been linked to our name. I shall grieve the loss of my son until the end, but I don't regret the decision I made. Tarkin sacrificed his life to spare millions of others from the folly of our ancestors. He made mistakes in command, but in death his honor is untarnished. Thank you for this honor. <clears throat> this we could do. Meanwhile, on Synthetic Insights. <coughs> Synthetic Insights has announced early success in their beta tests of the recently declassified project Omni VI Soldiers. These tools were deployed on the battlefield of Palavin, where they were provided covering fire and medical aid to the men and women desperately fighting to hold their homeworld. One soldier had this to say. It was a shock at first. I thought I'd lost my mind when Avina asked me if I wanted her to lay down covering fire. It wasn't until that evening that I discovered she wasn't Avina at all. Good shot, though. I'll be sure to thank her next time I'm at the Citadel. <clears throat> We've reached out to Primark Victus, but have yet to receive a reply. Sources close to Primark claim he's mulling over further tests of this new tool. Unfortunately, not all have seen this project as positive. Many anti-AI groups have challenged the legality of the research, and have been labeled it everything from potentially devastating to a flagrant breach of Citadel law. Everyone's a critic. What did the... Yep. And meanwhile, Palavin. Only a few de only days after Synthetic Insights field test their new holographic soldiers, the Turian hierarchy has put in a request for more of them to be deployed on their homeworld. Although initially skeptical, Primark Victus has commended the corporation for their research and has placed an order for more than our so, more that our sources say is significant. A N has reached out to Admiral Hackett about whether these holograms will be deployed on Earth, but we've reached no comment on the matter. There, this rides on a wave of good news for Synthetic Insights, who have been in a shocking U-turn to their fortunes. Synthetic Insights plan on selling these holographic soldiers to the public by the end of the month. Like that you are good. fucking welcome. Yeah, but is it gonna bite us in the ass later? Probably. So <laughs> right now, Candania. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough for today. Yep. So next time, virtual aliens, and hopefully Tachunka. Bye bye.